In order to help us understand the chronology of the uh, development of the site, uh, we have been um, sampling fasteners, um, particularly nails, but sometimes screws that uh, we're discovering in the construction of the house. And, um, and so we've got um, a variety of them here that we have um, sampled, put in bags, cataloged as part of that pro uh, process. Uh, one of the earliest nail types that we find is um, a nail that's handmade. Um, often people refer to them as wrought nails, but um, I think technically you, we really should call them hand forged nails made out of wrought iron as opposed to mild steel that you would find or, or even just plain steel that you would find um, towards the end of the 19th century. But th this is a typical nail from that period. It has a uh, shank that's been hammered out along both sides by hand after heating it in uh, a hot fire. And uh, it's very malleable and, and, and easy to work. And they create kind of a wedge-shaped piece. And they'll drop it down in a header, and then they hammer the top of that nail uh, four times to create almost a cloverleaf-like head on them. These are the common nails of the 18th century. This one was used in the 1704-05 plaster lap in the house. And it's really no different from nails that you would find, you know, in, in England from, you know, the 16th century. And then even here up through about 1810 or 20, they're still using these kinds of nails. So this is the earliest variety. Framing nails are larger versions of these. Not much different. They'll have a little different point on them, but the, the uh, other than their size, they're really like these nails. We've got another early kind of wrought iron nail, handmade in the house. Um, this is an L-head sprig or, or brad. Uh, you know, those names are names we still use for finished nails today. But this was a tiny little finished nail, you know, maybe an inch, inch and an eighth in, uh, inch long. It's kind of technically challenging to make these things because they're so small but just a little, you know, all hand hammered out with a little beak on it for a head to hold it in place. This was used to hold a piece of trim around a window in the parlor that we think was installed sometime in the late 18th century. Um, we've got a variety of, of uh, cut nails that were machine manufactured uh, used in this house. Um, this happens to be a slightly unusual variety uh, in that it, it's a blend of kind of early cut nail technology and some later technology made in its manufacture. But it has a machine head, it has a shank that was created by punching nails out of a sheet of iron. Uh, that, that sheet would have been turned on an angle and flipped back and forth as they were punching it out to create that angled shape. It's got a blunt point, which is what we expect for late cut nails, but it's been pinched under its head on the sides when, it was, when the head was formed in a way that sort of represents earlier technology. And these things have a fairly tight date range, um, probably 1830s and 40s. In this case, this nail was used uh, to install paneling in the parlor and really helps uh, above the chair rail, it really helps us with the dating of that uh, particular element here. So we got one more kind of nail in here, sort of what we'd expect to find uh, today on a construction project if we're not using a nail gun. This is a common wire nail. This one happens to date to 1897. Wire nails were invented uh, much earlier, but when they're made of wrought iron, they just didn't have the popularity that they had once um, uh, manufacturers started making them out of steel kind of late in the 1880s. Um, they really, in this region, they don't become very common for use in structural uh, circumstances until after about 1900. So this 1897 use of this common nail is a little bit on the early side and, and, and kind of interesting. Uh, in this case, this is a framing size nail, but it was in fact used to nail blind nail flooring uh, in the hyphen 
and uh, why somebody would blind nail flooring with common nails beyond me, but that's what they chose to do, and this is the nail they did it with.